Good afternoon. My name is John Franklin, Executive Director of APS Transportation, and I am proud to announce the partnership between the City of Atlanta, Atlanta Public Schools, and American Traffic Solutions as we address the growing problem of illegal passing of school buses that are stopped and boarding or disembarking children. Our goal is to educate and awaken drivers to the dangers of illegally passing school buses. Some Atlanta and Georgia drivers are not educated to the Georgia school bus stop laws and are unintentionally putting our students' lives in danger. Keeping our children safe is our number one goal and we want to change drivers' behaviors in a positive way to protect the lives of the children who ride a school bus to and from school every day. This is an imperative safety need and we are proud to have this additional tool to help protect our children. At this time, I would like to introduce Dr. Maria J. Karstarfin, Superintendent of APS Schools. Great, thanks, John. Thank you and welcome. I am so excited about this opportunity today. Um, I've been a superintendent in a couple of districts and certainly in my most recent district, we had this kind of safety and security mechanism for all of our students. And it was something that I felt very passionately about coming into Atlanta Public Schools. I know it's been a long time in the making. Um, it does require partnerships and I'm so glad to see our city council president, uh, Cesar Mitchell here, uh, to reinforce the fact that, uh, that it is true that our student safety is our number one priority and um, and it is so important that they have every chance to get to school um, ready to learn and um, with everything working for them in a way that shows that all of the adults in the Atlanta community love and care about them um, we uh, I'm just I'm so excited that, um, that our friends at American Traffic Solutions and certainly um, the crossing guard uh, technology itself is something that can work for Atlanta Public Schools and that we have been able to uh, do things like ensure that um, the research on the effects of these bus arms are, are something that can help us reduce all the illegal passing that we've seen in the Atlanta traffic, which is often incredibly insane, um, but the unsafe driving uh, practices that people witness themselves uh, will also be reduced when it comes to seeing our children get on and off of our school buses. It couldn't come at a better time. We start school on Wednesday, August the 5th. Uh, we've been doing our practice routes over the last uh, couple of days, and so we are ready to start this school year. We're very excited about um, what this means as a really great system to, um, to make just the AP experience better for our children and families. So thank you so much for coming today and um, I invite Cesar Mitchell to give us a few words as well. Well, well thank you very much Dr. Kostarfin. I, I guess we do need to exchange schedules because uh, you all are doing a lot of great work with APS and, um, and I'm really excited about this opportunity to be here in partnership. It's great to be here with Courtney English, the chair of the board, and Cynthia Briscoe Brown is also a board member and a staunch supporter of our children. Uh, I'll start off by telling a quick story. Uh, I'm a product of the Atlanta Public School System, and I went to West Minor Elementary School. Uh, and many years ago, I rode the bus like many children in the system ride today. Uh, and one of my classmates exited the bus one day on Lyndhurst Drive and was hit by a car. Uh, she was fortunate and blessed, and she lived, and has lived a normal life. Uh, but that uh, incident, that accident, uh, could have turned into a horrible, horrible scenario for her and her entire family. Uh, so this technology, this partnership today is one that is extremely important uh, because this is a growing problem. Motorists are not stopping uh, when they see a school bus. Some of them may be rushing. Some of them may, in fact, uh, think that it's not uh, uh, possible for them to stop or even necessary for them to stop. Some may care and many may not care, uh, but the partnership being created here today uh, between American Traffic Technologies, the Atlanta Public School System, uh, and the City of Atlanta will go miles uh, in reducing the possibility that a young child is hurt, even killed, uh, by a motorist passing by and not obeying uh, the traffic sign that says stop on the school bus. So I'm really glad to be here. I'm glad to be here with my partners, 
at APS, certainly to you, John, and your team at American Traffic Technologies. Thank you for sticking to this. Uh, this is extremely important to our city, extremely important to our young people, uh, and extremely important to the future of all we hope to be uh, in the future. With that being said, I'd like to bring forth uh, Deputy Chief Darrell Tolson uh, with the Atlanta Police Department, who is providing leadership and spearheading the city of Atlanta's part uh, of the partnership. Okay. I would like to also, before I uh, do that, because I certainly have to find my way uh, down to the schoolhouse and have partnership acknowledge. I just saw Ishe Collins come in, who's also a school board member uh, for the city of Atlanta. I mean, for the city school board. And thank you so much for your leadership. But with that being said, Chief Tolson, please come forward uh, and talk about the partnership. Well, good afternoon. Uh, so many times uh, when I get to and I stand before a microphone, it's about bad news. This is good news today, and I'm very glad to be here. I get to talk about something good for just a moment. Very good. Uh, but today's announcement enhances already a strong partnership that we have with the City of Atlanta, the Atlanta Police Department, and the Atlanta Public School System. Uh, school safety is a very high priority for all of us in the Atlanta Police Department. And uh, with our partnership with a a APD and APS, we protect some 50,000 kids throughout the school system. Pretty significant task. Well, as the doctor mentioned, Wednesday begins a new school year, and it's a new school year focused with school bus safety. School bus safety. And when you look at what the crossing guard actually does for us, you know, it's a, it's a solution that mounts a camera on the side of a bus that's able to detect a car that's passing from either direction while that bus is loading or unloading. Very fascinating technology. Very glad to have that here. When that arm is deployed, that camera will be activated when it senses that vehicle. That vehicle will be captured on a video. Am I stealing your thunder? I, I hope I'm not, Dave. Right It'll be captured on a video, and then the license plate would also be captured. That information will be sent to APD through uh, American Traffic Solutions, and then we're certified, then those guys will send it out to the, to the registered owner. Good news. In Georgia, listen to this, though. In Georgia, the first offense is $300. The second offense is $750. And the third offense in the five-year period is $1,000. My hope and prayer is that we have to issue very few citations because we don't have that violation occurring. That's what I hope and pray. And it's going to take a minute. For the first 30 days, we're going to issue out warnings. After 30 days, there's no more warnings. We're dropping the hammer. We're going to get your attention if you decide you want to pass a school bus that's loading our precious cargo. So with that said, I want to introduce the president of American Traffic Solutions, David Roberts. Thank you very much, David. It is an uh, absolute privilege to be here today, uh, and it, this is special for me. We launch programs like this all around the country. Uh, this one has special meaning for me because I grew up here. I'm from the Atlanta area originally. I grew up here, and so uh, it's, a, it's a real thrill for us to have our company's products and our technology providing safety to the students of Atlanta because it's our belief that every student has a right to get arrive safely at school, and we is also our belief that every parent has a right to expect that. And so our uh, technology is fully equipped and it's the latest uh, leading edge technology to uh, enable that for, for the, school, the, the children of Atlanta Public Schools. So we're thrilled to be here. Um, we consider it an honor and we, we look forward to the opportunity to continue to partner uh, with the school. And as, uh, as Gerald said, the program starts Wednesday with the, the initial sort of warning period. It'll be on 20 buses to start. Uh, after that, we'll continue to evaluate the program and roll out as we go. But um, really, it's just a real thrill to be here, and we look forward to partnering. I guess as a former citizen of Atlanta, I look at this and say, um, as I look at these leaders up here, I'm so glad to see that there's these types of leaders that are committed to safety uh, and, and going out and, and making the decisions that they did to enable this within the city of Atlanta. So thank you very much. We're glad to be here. Are there any questions at this time? System wide. We've divided the buses equally around all four quadrants of the district. Uh, zero cost up front for the school system. Uh, no recognized costs going forward. Of course, this is a partnership. Yeah. 
I'll handle it and work on it. The way this works is that we share the revenue. We, in, our, in our partnership, we share with the revenue. So what it enables is the school to get this equipment out, which is high-tech equipment, out early and on as many buses as possible. We, we analyze the routes to make sure that those routes are sufficient. And uh, we, we partner with the school and the police, obviously, to do so. But there's a, but there's a revenue split uh, between the city and the ATS. And we take a share. And therefore, usually over the course of time, these are absolutely cost neutral. Any other questions? How's it put in say it's on a hard drive or it's a server? It's on a DVR. The DVR gets uploaded wirelessly to uh, the central, comes back to ATS in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. And then we uh, we have people review those violations and process them. No, it's, uh, no, they do not. It's all automated. They do have a button uh, that's been installed on the on the bus that allows them, in case of an emergency where they actually see something happens, they can press that button and it notifies people right away so uh, appropriate personnel can respond to the issue if they see something. So it's captured? Yeah, it'll be, it'll be captured on the video regardless, but if, 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 unfortunate, if an unfortunate accident happened, they would be able to press the button. That button is like an emergency call and it, it addresses it right away. Does the, does the bus driver a violation occurs, do they call and somehow they alert you so that you know to look for that? Or is yeah, all the violations are downloaded onto the DVR. They come back to uh, Phoenix, Arizona, where they are reviewed by a violation specialist. We submit those to the Atlanta police for review and ultimate authority to issue the actual citation, and then those are mailed to the violator. So are the cameras only when the bus is at a stop? Yeah, as long as the bus is in motion, the camera's on. Not obviously when it's parked, but as long as the designated routes are on, they're, they're on the entire time that they're in motion. How do you handle the situation when the somebody says, like, he wasn't been driving in the car? <laughs> um, the, first, the good news is we're really, really good at what we do. We're quite accurate in that. Um, certainly there are disputes, and there are, there's two ways to do that. They can call an 800 number for an initial dispute, and also they'll work that through the courts. And if there is um, proof or people have the opportunity to go to court, just like in any citation, uh, and defend themselves if they want to, that's, a, that's an opportunity that's available to them. We offer evidentiary packages to the police and allow them to have the appropriate information, typically the video shot, dip shot of the license plate, those types of things that are available to the, you know, to the city as well. So you, you don't get, after the first, you don't get a lot of this. So there's two cameras on both sides, or one wider than the other? Um, there's two cameras on one side, uh, and I think Charlie's actually going to give you a, kind of a tour of the technology here in just a moment so you can actually see how it all works. They're all actually on, on the, the driver's side and they shoot in both directions. This might be a question for the police side. Is these tickets, are they moving violations? Do they have points on your records? Or? Well, can yeah, they're just moving citations. They're so, the same as the speeding ticket. So, no, no, so, no, so, no, so, no, so, So the, the question is for the public, if yeah. these tickets that they receive, what type of tickets are they? Yeah, it, 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 technically it's a civil violation, and at this point, we hope we can change this in the future, but at this point it doesn't even count against your driver's license. There's no points added to your driver's license, and the Portland Motor Vehicle is not notified. It's treated right now just as a civil violation. Great. Uh, we're going to take some pictures, but in the meantime, if anybody wants me to show them um, the, the cameras on the side of the bus, explain to them what the different units are, show them the panic button on the inside of the bus, I'll be more than happy to do that. Uh, we've got two buses. Well, probably might be better if we use the bus behind you, but either one works.